Hey guys, Goody YouTube here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over my old recording settings video and I will be updating the video and I'll also be showcasing my render settings. But before we get into the video, make sure you at least consider pressing the subscribe button for it to 3k. And yeah, let's, let's get to it. Guys, so before we get into the recording settings, there's some Minecraft settings which I want you guys to make sure you have in order to be able to record in high frame rates. What you want to do is you want to go to your options, video settings, performance, and you want to make sure fast render and very importantly, smooth FPS are enabled. So let me demonstrate what will happen to your recording if you don't have these on, don't have these settings on. So this is what happens when you don't have the settings on. As you can see, the recording may look a bit jittery and oh wow it's really bad in this area look at that Ugh, gross but if i enable smooth fps it's a little bit jittery still but it's not as jittery right guys so what you want to do is make sure you have obs obs is a free program so don't worry about if you don't have it uh it's definitely the best recording program for minecraft in my opinion so yeah pretty much a lot of people use obs for minecraft and if you don't you're in a minority so anyway make sure you have obs so once you do have obs you know set up um display capture audio capture and yeah that's pretty much what you have to do and yeah so let's get into the recording settings so go to file settings and make sure that okay you don't really need all this um, you want to make sure you're on advanced. I can't change that because I'm recording right now, but you want to make sure output mode is advanced. Go to recording and yeah, you can just copy these settings. For example, the recording path is just where I put the the file and yeah, it's in rank scours. Recording format mp4 encoder Nvenc if you don't have Nvenc, but that kind of sucks because Nvenc is very useful. Um, rate control CBR bitrate 60,000 kilobits but I would recommend going higher like a hundred thousand if you can yeah present max performance profile high uh, copy these and you should be good to go again audio just make sure you have your microphone uh, I don't know default or whatever your microphone is uh, video now this is a bit where it gets very exciting for most people so you want to go to video uh, base canvas mine's on 1080p I don't know why it should be 1440p. I'll have to go into resolution and change that. Uh, but yours most likely will be 1080p. Um, output scale resolution, I would recommend 1920 by 1080. But if you want to record in 720p, you would change that to 1280 by 720. So downscale filter as well. Villainer is definitely the best one for recording in higher frame rates. Set this to fractional FPS value. You want to have this on fractional FPS. Numerator can be on whatever FPS you want to record in and denominator you don't need to worry about. Right, so what you want to do is you want to have your numerator on basically half of the FPS you usually get in Minecraft. So say if you get 300 FPS in Minecraft um, or like 320, you would want to record in 150 or 160. Now, the reason why this is, is because when you record, your frame rate decreases by quite a substantial margin. I, I don't know, it's really hard. You need to mess with the recordings to actually get this right. You don't want to drop below your frame rate in game. When is your, okay, who cares? Anyways, moving on. So, you know, hotkeys, uh, those are my hotkeys. They're not really important. Now this is important, general process priority high. And yeah, you can just have whatever you want on this. And that's it. That's literally it. Anyways, moving on to render. Render settings. Let's do this. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showcasing my render settings on Sony Vegas. So make sure you have Sony Vegas 14 or 13. There's not much of a difference between the two. If you have a newer version, then it shouldn't really be too much different either. So what you want to do is go to render as. So once you do that, you'll probably get something like this. You want to scroll down, you want to find main concept if you don't already have this open. So if you're on this, go to like main concept, pretty much. Internet HD, 1080p, and for an example, I've already customized, I've already customized mine. So I named it YouTube. And these are the settings. Go ahead and copy them. 
uh, basically that's it. What you want to do is, even if you record in 1080p, uh, you want to record in 1440p because otherwise YouTube will compress your video like a lot. Like this is kind of a YouTuber secret, but you want to record in a higher resolution so your video will default to the higher, uh, the more less compressed codec for your video and it will look a ton better at the cost of a couple extra minutes of rendering. So make sure you have that. And frame rate, you can set this to 30 or 60, whatever you like your video to be in. And constant bit rate in bits per second. So you wanna have this like 50 million or 28 million. Honestly, I don't really see much of a difference. I usually use 50 million, but if you want, you can use 28 million. It's up to you. So number of sizes, you can hit this on four. And yeah. You want to go to hit project just use uh you want you can use good if you haven't already set it in the settings i would put this on good and yeah just use project settings and that's it if you did find this video helpful please consider subscribing i'll see you guys in the future um please consider subscribing i already said that i'm just very desperate peace goodbye get out get out and also subscribe